Yeah, fine. This happens when I, I work for lunch. I'm just gonna get some water. I want some food. Hey. How's Jessica? She's sleeping. So you decided to tell Marty that there was more than one kiss? We talked. Told her that it was a mistake. Excuse me, can I take this? Yes, Buchanan. Yes. What? Uh, he's uh, here with me. Okay, we'll be right there. What is it? That was a school. We have to go. Nora, what about the charges? Charges? What charges? Bo, what about the job? I'll take it. <sighs> so you love me, but you can't marry me. Kevin. I know that it's hard for you to see me grieve for my mom. I know that you want to spare me that. But you can't make it better this time. I have to go through it. And marrying you would only confuse things, I think, for both of us. Well, then we'll wait. And when you're ready, we'll set a date. No. No. I've been thinking about you and me for a while. Now with Zane in secondary school. Hey, he still needs us. Yes, he does. But we can't hide behind him forever. <sighs> Kevin, we have both been hurt so bad in life with our stupid mistakes. And I think it was just easier to hide. And we can't do that to Zane. Because he'll just crawl in with us and never grow up and that would be awful. So as hard as it is, we have to let go and get out there and figure out what we really want. Yeah, that's the thing, see? I want you. You really think I'd use my dead best friend to weasel a ring out of you? Kimberly, I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know. What's in it for me? Well, let me tell you something, Clint Buchanan. If all I wanted was money or a ring, I'd be down in Texas with one of your so-called friends. You do realize every last one of them asked me for my number after that business trip we took down there. I don't blame them. Why are you still here? Because I like you. Oh. You know it. But marriage, why? Why would we do that? I'm living a life right now. We're having fun together. There's no reason to ruin it. Except for that baby in there. She has no one to fight for her but me. I need you in my corner, Clint. You're the only way I'll get custody of Sierra. Without you, I'd still be scared. To show up at school with her and have all the other kids make fun of her that her mother's just... No, it's not fair to her. I need to be able to hold my head up high. With you by my side, I can. Married to you, I'd finally be good enough. All right. So this will be a marriage of convenience, huh? What do you... What does that mean? I mean, it's convenient for Sierra. It's convenient for you. But what about me? What's in it for me? Matthew? Don't say another word. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm really confused. We, we were called because my son broke into a teacher's desk and stole some answers to a test? I'm afraid that's the case. Uh, and you have proof of that? Your son confessed. But no, he didn't. Well, it doesn't matter whether he did or not, because his confession isn't admissible. He's a minor, and you didn't have parents present when you spoke to him. Mom, I took the answers. Really? Oh, okay. Where are they? Well, they're, uh... You, you know, after I took them, I changed my mind, and I threw them out. I swear to you, I never even looked at them. Oh, okay. So let me get this straight. You broke into a teacher's desk, took the answers, never looked at them, changed your mind. Why? I, I didn't really need them. How did you know that you didn't need them? 
Well, I guess I just realized I had more time to study, so I, I, I threw them out. I think this is a big load of crap. I want an apology from all of you people. You had no right to accuse Danielle of something she obviously didn't do. DA's punk all along. Excuse me? I beg your pardon. Mom, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Matthew, this goes on your permanent record. It could keep you from getting into a good college. He didn't do it. Danny. He's just covering for me. And I can prove it. You know, it's, it's not that I don't understand your grief, Charlie, because I do. I, I tried to help you. I know you did. But you wouldn't have it. You shut me out, Charlie. You shut me out and you turned to, of all people, Dorian. No, she came to me. You let her in. She gave you a gun and you took it. She, you took a gun and help from a woman who tried to kill you. She poured vodka down your throat when you were unconscious and she left you to die and you know that she is manipulative and completely unethical and self-serving, but you trusted her. Okay, but this isn't about Dorian. I mean, she was just a means to an end. I've, I've been trying to muster the courage to finish off Mitch Lawrence since the day that he killed my son and she just showed me away. But that's the worst part. I am horrified that you would use Jared's memory to commit murder. You know, we all hate Mitch Lawrence. I asked you before if Brody told you everything. He didn't. You know, after Mitch Lawrence pumped electric shock through my child and erased her memory. He then drugged her, he laid her on a bed, and he climbed on top of her. Mitch Lawrence wanted to have a baby and decided the best way to do that was for Jessica, his daughter, to be the mother. Oh my God. He was going to rape her, and if Brody hadn't arrived in time, he would have raped her. She's traumatized as it is. Is it any wonder that she has decided to forego being an adult and hang on to her childhood? I am so sorry. You said before you think I'm mad at you, Charlie. I'm not mad at you. I am furious. I don't sleep at night. And when I do, I have these horrendous nightmares about trying to kill Mitch Lawrence, trying to strangle him and throttle the life out of him with my bare hands. Mitch Lawrence raped me. Now he has tried to rape my daughter, his daughter. And this is a child who is suffering from a multiple personality disorder. So her hold on a normal life is precarious at best. And now he has put her into this dreadful kind of limbo from which she may never escape. So you see, I have the right to hate Mitch Lawrence. I have the right to want to strangle him. I do not have the right to do it. I do not have the right to take a life, any life, even his. I, 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 I could never use my pain or my child's pain or my grandchild's pain to commit murder. Murder, Charlie? What were you thinking? I was trying to protect you. Protect me? What if you'd been killed or arrested? How would that protect me? I couldn't bear it. Well, I was wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, I was, I was thrown by Jared's death. Okay, I felt responsible. I was the reason that he got caught up with Mitch Lawrence in the first place. And yeah, of course, the drinking didn't help matters at all, but I'm, I made a bad choice. But please, Vicky. You, you gotta let me make it up to 